Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shaktivel. Today we will see another interesting topic. This is exception handling, right? Uh, the reason why I have the named this as uh, an art to master is because uh, I know uh, whenever I see a new code, you know, so, suppose I am seeing some some new GitHub repository, I obviously go and look, you know, how they have handled their exception in this particular framework. So exception handling is one of the trickier tasks to do. but one of the effective tasks to do okay so you know if, if someone is have handled their exception pretty well i can be very sure that they are very good coders okay it, it is just not the only criteria but if they have handled their exception very well we can you know assume or presume that you know they have done a reasonably very good job good now we will understand uh, what are the effects okay in this video we going to see uh, why i have to learn exception handling to explain that i need to give you some uh, poor example you know examples of poor exception handling in real life so that you can really imagine how how much important to handle the exception properly normally as an automation engineer we tend to you know uh, add a try catch block or we just simply throw the you know exception in the Uh, or declare it in the method signature right so we normally don't understand you know how we need to properly handle this so we will understand with a very quick example uh, it, from our real time okay now please imagine that you are going to an atm okay you have to actually imagine this okay so you have waited for 10 minutes and uh, you also need to uh, imagine that there are 10 more people waiting behind you so now you have entered your uh, entered the atm and it's up to you, you to now withdraw the money now imagine that you are inserting your atm and then you are uh, you know entering your uh, password and other stuff you are you are actually trying to withdraw 5000 rupees for example and due to some reason okay uh, the atm is just telling you something went wrong that's it okay it has you know closed all the session so it means they haven't even handled the exception okay whatever the error there is some error they are not even publishing what is the error or they are just publishing some uh, generic error like something went wrong and then they are closing the program now what you have to do you have to try again okay this time again you are retrying let's imagine this time uh, you have entered an incorrect pin okay so you have entered your atm you you know entered the amount again 5000 this time you entered an incorrect pin what happens okay at the end after getting all the things it will tell you i uh, know it's an incorrect pin and then it will close the uh, whole uh, program okay now it will again you need to insert your atm again imagine there are 10 more people waiting at the door they may uh, they are still now wondering what this guy is doing for so many time so much of time okay so now you are entering your atm for the third time uh, inserting your atm uh, atm card for the third time and this time imagine you you entered 5000 rupees but you you, uh, you entered your correct atm pin because you last time you got the error so uh, you entered the correct pin now but this time you are facing an insufficient balance because you have only 3000 rupees in your atm but you are actually trying to withdraw 5000 rupees so this is again a problem okay now again what it is telling it's even didn't tell you what is the amount that you have okay maybe if they have shown the amount that you have only this much amount in your account uh, you know uh, maybe that kind of error message would be really helpful for you but they didn't do that they are just telling you insufficient balance exception okay so there is no not enough money to withdraw please try again that's the error message you got and then again you have to insert your atm the atm card and then you have to do the whole process but this time you are sure that you have entering the right pin and then you are also sure that you are entering amount that you really require now that is 800 rupees uh, because you don't want to withdraw 3000 or 5000 and get again insufficient balance but you are sure that you have something around 800 in your account so i am i'm okay to withdraw only 800 for now so i entered 800 and trying to withdraw the uh, you know amount but this time it's telling me denomination not available hundreds and 200 notes are not available so please enter denomination in terms of 500 imagine there are so many people waiting behind you they would have already started throwing stones at you so this is the problem guys if if some of the developers have i think thought about all these things or the product owners thought about these things okay how one user would have experienced this kind of scenario you know re, do you really think that he will again come uh, come back or you know uh, you know open a bank account with this particular atm no they don't do okay because they really had a very bad experience you know inserting atm for five times just to withdraw one you know, one, you know uh, just 800 rupees this is very bad experience right so instead of doing all these things what could have been done 
okay if they have done a proper exception handling this could have been you know avoided and uh, they would have provided a very good user experience for the user okay but all that we will see in another good video but thanks for listening to me and the uh, testing many bytes have a good day